Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I invite you to crochet my amazing flower with seed beads that consist of only three rounds. This is my own design. You can use any kind of yarn and any crochet hook. I will use Tunisian crochet for this flower. Before the work I threaded seed beads onto the working yarn. Let's get started crocheting. Let's crochet the flower. To start the work by making a chain of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The foundation chain is ready. And join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. The ring is ready. Let's crochet round 1. Make a chain of 2, pull a little bit. Now I am working with seed beads. Draw seed beads and make 12 half double crochet with seed bead. Yarn over the hook with seed bead. And make half double crochet into the ring. 1. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the ring, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through, 2, 3, 4, 5, while making half double crochet, I remove long piece of yarn. In total, it should be 12 of them. Then I will show you how to complete this round. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Once I have done all my stitches, let's complete my round. Insert the hook into the first half double crochet. Make a slip stitch. Round 1 is ready. Let's crochet round 2. For this, let's crochet the chain space. 1, 2, 3 chains. Then yarn over the hook and insert the hook into the same stitch. Make double crochet. I did 3 chains instead of 1st stitch. Make woolen block stitch around this stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook around the both stitches. 1. In total it should be 5 of them. 2. 3. 4 and 5. Well done. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Then yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook. Make a chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's straight up my strings. There is the top of my stitch. So I'm going to make the slip stitch into the this top in the end of this round. Well done. I did chain of 5, yarn over the hook, I skip this top that I did stitch before, insert the hook into the next stitch, make double crochet not finish, then double crochet not finish and stitch, and pull through all loops on the hook. Then make bullet block stitch 1, 2, 
three, four, five. Then insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, then pull through loops on the hook, make a chain of five, one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over the hook. I skip this stitch, insert the hook into the next one, make double crochet not finish, then double crochet not finish, pull through loops on the hook and make bull and block stitch. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete this round. Let's complete round two. Once I have done the chain space, insert the hook into the top of the bull and block stitch, make a slip stitch. Round two is ready. Let's crochet the last round of the flower. It's gonna be a round of petals. Make a chain. Make single crochet into the chain space. Let's crochet the first petal. One, two, three, four chains, then make a pico on the chain, make a chain, then chain of three for the pico, one, two, three, insert the hook into the fourth chain, stitch away from the hook, make a slip stitch, my pico is ready, Draw seed beads and I will work with them. Yarn over the hook. I skip the chain stitch that I did slip stitch into. Then I work in with next four stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over the hook with seed bead, insert the hook into the next chain stitch, pull up a loop. Two, three, and four. Well done. Insert the hook into the chain space, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through three loops. One, two, three, and four. I have got two loops on the hook, pull through. Here what I have. First row of the petal is ready. Make a chain, then make a pico on the chain. Chain of three for the pico. Work with a slip stitch into the fourth chain stitch away from the hook. Draw seed beads and work with the second row of the petal. Yarn over the hook. They are thread or middle thread. One, two, three, four. Here is the first one. I skip it. Insert the hook into the next one. One. Yarn over the hook with seed bead. Two. Three. Four. Insert the hook into the chain space, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through three loops, one, two, three, four, and pull through two loops. 
The second row of the petal is ready. I continue working on my petal. Let's crochet row 3. I am working in the same way as I did in the previous row. Make a chain, then chain of 3 for the pico. Work with the slip stitch into the forest chain stitch. Draw seed beads, yarn over the hook. I leave the first thread. Work from the second one. One. Two. Three and four. Insert the hook into the chain space, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through three loops. One, two, three. Four and pull through two loops. I have done three rows. In total, it should be five rows in each petal. Let's stop at this point and let me show you the ready project. Here, how it looks one, two, three, four, five rows in each petal. I have done three of them. You should work with two more with your own. I have done all five rows. One, two, three, four, five. I remind you all rows with seed beads and make a chain. Then chain of three for the pico and work with the slip stitch into the fourth chain stitch. The next row will be a row of slip stitches. I leave this loop or a thread and work from the second one and make a slip stitch. One, two, three, and four. Well done. Insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet. My petal is ready. This is the first petal in my flower. I remind you it consists of five rows plus one row of slip stitches. And now I show you how to crochet the second one. Make a chain. And work into the next chain space. Make single crochet. Then you should repeat the first petal. I am making the second one in the same way. I will start and you will continue by yourself. One, two, three, four chains. Then chain and chain of three for the pico and work with a slip stitch into the fourth chain stitch. Draw seed beads, yarn over the hook, insert the hook. Here are one, two, three, four chain stitches. One. Yarn over the hook with seed bead, insert the hook into the next chain stitch, pull up a loop, two, three, and four. Insert the hook into the chain space, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through three loops. One, two, three, Four. Then yarn over, pull through two loops. 
Keep working in this way till the end of this round. In total it should be 6 of them. Here what I have. I have done all 6 petals. To complete this round, insert the hook into the single crochet. Make a slip stitch. To secure the yarn by making a chain. And I have already cut off my yarn. Don't forget to make a chain stitch between petals. There is the chain stitch. So my flower is ready. Here how it looks when you are done. Let's look at the back side. You should remove the yarn using sewing needle or crochet hook along the stitches. And I will add a bead to the center of the flower. And let's look at the ready project. That's it. My project is ready. I have already removed all my yarns along the stitches. This is the back side. I added a bit to the center of the flower. My flower consists of three rounds. The last round is round of petals. And each petal has five rows. Please write comment below this video what you will get with my video. Where you will use it. You can use any kind of yarn and any seed beads. Thank you so much for watching and writing comment below each video tutorial. Good luck in crocheting. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.